Hello everybody, this is Grim Skellington, and this is going to be another Minecraft Adrift episode. Now, since last time, I was... I have some supplies burning and cooking down in my Earthblood furnace room, as I thought, pr post a video. And I have that planned for my big project. But, I actually got a comment that I really liked, which suggested that I turn the obsidian room, which I was asking for suggestions on, into a kitchen. That way I could use the pun, Hell's Kitchen. And I actually really like that idea. I think that's definitely what I'm going to do now. And like he mentioned, now that I have my diamonds here, I can destroy the obsidian. So I can use that to get it back outside again. So that is wonderful news. Uh, but I was thinking, how can I make this even more exotic? Uh, and going with the whole hell motif thing. And I was thinking that what I really need is glowstone. And that would give me an excuse to go over into the nether, and have a big exploring and action sequence, and... But generally it just sounds like a cool idea, and... Says, what was that? What are you? Is that Creeper? Okay, well, I'm not gonna fight you, whatever you are. So anyways, I'm gonna go back upstairs now, and... I have some supplies. I went ahead and prepared a little bit beforehand. I didn't do a whole lot. But I went ahead and got into my hand, my string, and my sticks. That way, I can go ahead and remember that, oh yes, I need to make a bow and arrow, because some people seem near about to have a heart attack over this. So I'm going to have a bow and arrow there. And I think that's going to be really helpful with the ghasts, too, because they end up being a big problem, and I'm trying to avoid big problems right here. I just kind of want to get in, get some glowstone, get out. In the meantime, there's a couple things I need to do. Uh, I have my iron, the remainder of my iron cooking over here. So as you can see, I've also went ahead and cooked and made some armor. Because if I'm going in there, I'm going in there as well defended as I can. Um, if you look here, actually, I have a lot of um, um, coal and charcoal. I don't think I'm really going to be using my iron for the buckets like I had originally planned to. I was originally planning to just trade out the iron in exchange for the lot of glass. Ends up giving a lot of glass for just two buckets, which was six iron. But iron is a lot more valuable than coal. So I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Um, anyways, I have a couple other plans. Uh, I wanted to move Pumpkin Buddy, and I'm gonna probably put him out somewhere over here on the mast in just a little bit. In the, but in the meantime, I need to make my um, stuff. The diamond pick. I'm gonna get a, di get a diamond pick first off because I need that for destroying obsidian. I need to get some obsidian because I'm gonna make. I'm gonna bring some obsidian with me just in case I need to make a portal. I'm not planning to get trapped or anything, but definitely better safe than sorry, you know. Um, let's see, I could swear I had some more sticks. I guess not. Okay, well, alright, I'm going to make some more sticks real quick, and then I'm also going to make my bow and arrow. Here is my bow and arrow, guys. This should make some of you guys very, 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 very happy. Click this. Okay. So, alright. Yep, I'm going to go downstairs now. I'm probably going to fast forward the next part because making obsidian is an extremely time-consuming process. Basically, as you can see here, I have these buckets. I'm going to pour the buckets of water over the water, or the lava. And since those are all lava source blocks, I'll be able to mine them, or something like that. I'll come up with something. But anyways, I'm, going to, I'm planning to fast forward the next sequence. So... Um, actually, I'm not going to fast forward just yet because I think I need to kill these monsters. I can get some practice in with my bow. Where are you guys coming from? These place? I mean, it's not completely safe down here, but it's relatively safe. But having three monsters down here waiting to ambush me is actually a lot more than I normally would get. Okay, well, looks like I'm still mostly proficient <laughs> with the bow and arrow. Uh, I don't think I... It doesn't look like I missed any shots. If I did, I'm not going to get the arrows back, evidently. <laughs> but I have, like... Probably about 50 or so arrows now, so I'm pretty set. I'm not planning to have to really kill a whole lot of ghasts. All right. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go back down to the Earth Blood fur Furnace now, and I will see you guys in just a minute.
I'm back, and I have collected the necessary obsidian. I'm going to need 10 in order to make a portal, so I brought 12 just in case I misplace things. Which, if I'm in a hurry and try to escape gas or whatever reason I'm needing to build that, then I'll, I'll probably need that extra 2 there just in case. So, that is pretty much all I did. I did have that scuffle with the creeper and the skeleton. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that through the fast forward. I went back down, I grab, gathered, regathered my stuff, and then I kind of just reorganized everything. I also quickly off camera went back upstairs and put away my extra diamond and a couple other uses of stuff. So here I am about to embark on my quest for some light stone for my kitchen. Oh wow, it really sounds really pointless to waste my so <laughs> risk myself for a kitchen. But what's life without a risk? Well, besides safer. I suppose that is a pretty important bit. Um, let me see here. Where am I? Hey, this is all my stuff from last time. Nice, nice, and that's a lot of gas. Ow, no, get away. <laughs> no. Um, um, that is a lot of gas. I wasn't anticipating that. I guess it would make sense that they're still there. Um, why am I finding my stuff here? I thought they would have disappeared after five minutes. Maybe it's world dependent or something? Like, if you go there in one world, then the time five minute before they disappear ticker doesn't start until you go back to the world or something? I guess? I don't know, that's my best guess at this point. <laughs> I'm not complaining though, I mean, that, that diamond chest plate is... that was pretty important to begin with, so... I'm pretty glad I got that back, actually. Alright, here's what I have came for. Collect and collect. I need nine per one. So, these are actually really expensive, so... I'm <laughs> gonna try not to... waste any of it by misplacing it once I get back. Now, I have to be careful not to do that, because, like I said, it's expensive. As it is, I have eight back home. So... Um, I'm not entirely sure how much I want right now. I don't really have any design plans for the kitchen. I just kind of decided that that sounds like a cool idea. I guess I'll do it, and then I did it. And <laughs> like I said, I haven't really done anything with it yet, so we'll see how that ends up going. And I guess probably maybe by the end of this episode, if I end up collecting enough getting and getting back in time. Um, some more gas over there. As you can see, there's quite a bit of lightstone, but it has an unfortunate tendency to stick to ceilings which is really inconvenient but I mean if that's the only way to get it I don't really have much of a choice it's also really difficult to gauge distances in here what seems like it wouldn't be very long in the real world ends up seeming like it takes forever but that seems like it's really close and yet I know it'd probably take at least half my stack of cobblestone just to reach up there let alone collect any of it uh, thank goodness though that my ore or my pickaxe I mean, look how fast it destroys things here. That's only iron. I mean, this stuff is really fragile if you have a pickaxe. So, and same basically applies for the lightstone, where they get destroyed really fast. So, if I need any emergency building supplies, then I can just kind of click here and... Actually, I'm not going to replace that. Uh, I'll replace the chest plate. Actually, I'm going to put on my chest plate. Uh, there I am right now. Yep. I got a new skin. Can't, you can't really see very much except for a grinning smile right now, but it's a skeleton. I really like that skeleton. I'll make sure to include a link to the guy who made it in the description there. He ended up making quite a few different types of skins, and he's actually really good at that. So make sure to check him out if you're looking for some skins. He has some... he's really good at it. I mean, I have tried my hand at making that vampire one a while back, and... I'm proud of it, but it, was, it doesn't hold anything even resembling a candle to that guy's stuff. So, make sure to check that out for sure. Um, let me see, I'm, I'm trying to find some convenient lightstone. Looks like over here might be convenient. Oh, hi there. I'm gonna test out my new bow and arrow. Oh, it's so hard to gauge distances because these things are huge. Why aren't you working? You are a very bad bow and arrow. <laughs> Oh. My. That was way too close for comfort. Wow. Ooh, and I almost ran off there. I need to be more careful here. I'm carrying some pretty valuable stuff. I don't want to fall into lava. Let me see. 
if I can get up here. Um, I hope it's bright enough that you guys can see in here. If it's not, I'll make sure to turn up the light. The gamma light. Speaking of the gamma light, why do I call it the gamma light again? I can't really remember. I just kind of always called it that. And I think there was some reason that I called it that. But I don't r really notice anyone else has called it that. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm probably going to just keep calling it that anyway. It's just out of habit. But if any of you guys happen to know why I would call it that, like why someone else would refer to it that like that, and then I would pick up on it, let me know. I'm I'm kind of curious how I picked that habit up. All right. Um, I got most of my stone here. I just need to kind of inch my way a little bit further over here. Unfortunately, while all of this seems like I'm getting so much of it, I'm not really getting hardly any of it because it takes nine to make a single block. Here we go, here we go. Wonderful, okay. That gives me 53 divided by 9. It's entirely too high of mathematics for me. Something like that. Um, it's like 4 or 5 blocks, I think. So, that's that's a fair amount. But I kind of want to... I ha kind of had a vision of lining a wall with it. So, or not really a wall, but the top of it. Like a rim going around the top for it. I guess, I don't know, I'm bad at describing it. You guys will see it when I make it. If I can get enough of this. If I can't get enough of it, then I'll probably just stick some in like each corner and maybe on top of a counter or something. But if I can find enough of it that is convenient to pick up, like this is. This is nice. This is, I don't really need to build very much to get it. I can collect it all conveniently. But, I mean, you saw this once they were high up in the air. Those just suck. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother going for those, even if they are closer to my spawn point. And then there's going to be the trouble of getting back. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that, because there's all of those there. I also need some of you brown mushrooms, because i got a couple red ones back home. So I can mix you guys into some mushroom soup. And... Oh, got to get the last one over here. Not really the netherrack, or... Whatever they call this stuff that's everywhere now. It used to be Firestone or something. I don't even... I don't even know what it is anymore, so whatever that is. That is slow stone over there. I don't really have any use for that, so I'm not even going to bother going for it. Um, where's some more? I guess back over there is probably going to be the most convenient. It's just such a hassle to get it from here. <laughs> Why is over here lightened? Why is up there? Does anyone else notice that there's some spots that just kind of seem to be ran randomly lighted nowadays? There's absolutely no reason why that would be lighted. It's... There's no lava or anything nearby. But, lo and behold, it's a random bright spat. Random bright patch. I've noticed those are in caves, too, and I'm not entirely sure what it is for. I'm guessing the previous update just kind of bugged everything and has yet to be fixed. Oh, I'm trying to play baseball with these, but it's not working. Come on. No, I could have sworn that would have hit it. Here we go. Oh, no, not doing any of that more. Okay, stop shooting at me. I'm friendly, guest. Don't do it. Don't kill me, guest. I'm your friend. Um, yeah. That's probably going to be the most convenient nearby. Ah, bah humbug. Even if it's not Christmas time. I hope it, none of this ends up going to lava. Oh, I guess I don't really need a pick for this after all. Okay, well, no, more po no point in further wasting my iron pick. After making that iron armor, I'm kind of low on iron as a whole. So I'd rather preserve that if I can. Go ahead and use some of my cobblestone for this. I don't really feel like going back down to get, get any more. So, all right. Well, hmm. I suppose I'll probably finish getting my light stone off camera. It's not really that interesting. Oh no, it's all falling out into the lava. Oh no. Oh, and I keep destroying it anyways. Because there's no point in leaving it up here. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, this is probably going to be the end of the episode. So, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a great evening, guys. Oh, let me see if I can get it. No, I couldn't. Oh, well. Anyways, see you guys.